play the most brutal shooter of the year. Warhammer 40k Darktide is the much-anticipated co-op action shooter from an award-winning team of developers. Available now on PC. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 Nightmare Fuel video games. For this list, we'll be looking at video games that present disturbing content that you won't be able to forget anytime soon. Which game has given you the most nightmares? Let us know in the comments below. Number 20. The Evil Within What happens when you give the mind that gave us the original Resident Evil free reign to create a new project? A title that wastes no time exploring just how artistically grotesque a survival horror game can be. Trapped inside a dream world where literally everything wants to kill him, Detective Sebastian Castellanos must fight his way through hordes of monsters and his own dwindling sanity in order to escape. There's no shortage of blood here, not to mention a whole host of boss fights that are sure to make your skin crawl. We're looking at you, Laura. Number 19. Inside Beautiful in nature, yet chilling to the bone, Inside is a modern masterpiece of visual storytelling. And what a bleak story it has to tell. As a nameless child seeking to escape from the enforcers of a dystopian world, we are given hints to the disturbing fate of humanity. Escapees being hunted with attack dogs, using reanimated corpses as slaves, mutated siren creatures roaming free, all of it makes the minimalistic style feel poignantly brutal. And need we say more about that ending? Seriously, what was that thing? Number 18, Dead Space Series. One engineer against an army of monstrosities spawned from a divine alien marker? Things are going to get messy. Whether he's trapped in the confines of the Ishimura, fighting his way through Titan Station, or trying to survive on the frozen surface of Tau Volantis, Isaac Clarke does not have an easy time of it. The Necromorphs remain some of gaming's most hideous enemies, ones that have a nasty habit of refusing to stay down. Throw in haunting visions of his dead girlfriend and a psychotic religion that worships the marker, and you're bound to be jump scared several times over the course of this trilogy. Uh, oh! Number 17 Until Dawn. Ah! There's something awesome about the campy horror flicks of old, but who knew it would make such an entertaining gaming experience? While initially hitting every cliché beat for beat, right down to the stereotypical cast of teenage cannon fodder, we soon learned that the game was merely using it as a springboard for a more devilish tale. The threat of the Psycho and the Wendigo honestly had us on edge at times, while fearing which of our choices was going to end up getting our endearing cast ripped to pieces. Except for Emily, of course. <coughs> Number 16. Slender. The Eight Pages. Worming his way into mainstream culture with a menacing appearance and an abundance of creepypastas, the Slender Man is, in many ways, this generation's Freddy Krueger. Where did all this infamy come from? You need to look no further than his debut game. The premise is pretty simple. Grab eight pieces of paper scattered around a forest before Slendy snags you. However, due to his tendency to suddenly pop out of nowhere, it won't be long before you find yourself fearing each new corner you come across. Chances are, he's lurking right around the bend. 
Number 15, Sanitarium. This is the, the village, st stupid boys. What can be scary about a retro point-and-click adventure? Well, a lot, actually. After awakening from a coma, our amnesiac protagonist Max finds himself as an unfortunate guest of a lunatic asylum that has more than a few strange quirks about it. Namely, how it leads to other worlds, none of which are places you want to visit. A plant creature that lives to feast on malformed children, giant insects, the scariest clown you're ever likely to come across, demons, torture, death, there's no end to the horrific imagery with this one. After I complete their transformation, the children will be one with me forever. Number 14, Phantasmagoria. The blade? Yes, my darling. You wouldn't survive. It's time to bust the live-action cutscenes, folks, which means it's time to see 90s actors get torn apart. One of the finest examples of incorporating the medium into a horror game, this supernatural thriller sees our unfortunate heroine attempt to discover the truth behind the magician Zoltan Karnavash and the mystery surrounding the deaths of his five wives. Spoiler, they all died in horrible ways, which we get to see up close and personal in glorious cinematic footage. The effects may seem a little tacky for today's standards, but when you see a woman forced to ingest animal entrails, your stomach is going to flip either way. Number 13, Alien Isolation. For those of you who thought the Xenomorphs had lost their scare factor, then we kindly refer you to this little number. While searching for her mother, Amanda Ripley finds herself trapped aboard a colossal space station, one that has a rather unwanted visitor. In a true nail-biting game of cat and mouse, the alien easily reclaims its place as an iconic creature of fear. Near unkillable, your only options are to run like hell and pray it doesn't look in the one locker you're hiding in. Guess it truly does go to show that quality over quantity pays off. Right, Colonial Marines? I'm sorry. Number 12, System Shock 2. If you want true sci-fi horror, then look no further than Shodan. Trapped aboard a starship with an undead crew running amok, our protagonist must run and gun his way to safety. Of course, that's not all he has to worry about, since the ship is also home to the most sadistic and intimidating AI to ever grace gaming. With her voice in our ears at all times, Shodan's presence is even more terrifying than all the infected enemies we have to shoot. Did we mention her voice is something straight out of our nightmares? The Polito form is dead, insect. Are you afraid? Number 11, Harvester. Go quickly, before she comes back. Live action returns, and while the quality of the overall graphics may not be top-notch, the sheer madness and gore of the crazy world that this game offers more than makes up for it. Making his way through the town of Harvest, Steve finds himself exposed to increasingly sickening sights, and we mean sick. There's all manner of murder and torture to be seen on every street, though the one scene of children taking bites out of their mother's legs just about does it for us. And some mothers complain that their children don't come to see them. Number 10, Condemned Criminal Origin. As if trying to solve a series of grisly murders wasn't bad enough, Wrongly convicted cop Ethan Thomas not only has to survey bloody crime scenes while on the trail of such sick individuals such as Serial Killer X and The Torturer, but also has to deal with Metro City's increasingly psychotic citizens. Swarms of crazed individuals hunting after you, inducing non-stop paranoia as you follow the increasingly bloody trail. Not to mention such delightful scenes as having a disfigured body leap out at you. 
Yeah, it's definitely a bad day at the office. <laughs> Number 9. Outlast <laughs> Asylums are a popular trope in horror games, but no madhouse has inspired more dread and left us with more mental scars than Mount Massive. As a hard-hitting journalist not afraid of throwing himself into danger, Miles Upshur unwittingly drags us into a nightmare scenario as he soon discovers the facility is now in the hands of its patients. Ah! Get them out! <sighs> While there's a multitude of jump scares along the line that could land this game on the list, we have to divert your attention to the sadistic Dr. Traeger, whose introduction had everyone clutching their fingers afterwards. Don't pass that on me. There's still a lot for you to absorb. Number 8. Five Nights at Freddy's 4 by this time in the series, many fans were concerned that the mechanics would run stale and Freddy and company had lost their sinister edge. Then came along the fourth entry, where the whole thing got one hellish makeover. Instead of a night guard trying to defend himself from haunted animatronics, this time we play from the perspective of a traumatized child who is hounded by much more monstrous forms of Freddy and the gang. With the added tension of being forced to listen out for footsteps and breathing, combines with the intense new jump scares, Five Nights cannot be over soon enough. Number 7. The Suffering Just because you can't fight back doesn't always mean the scares have to be detracted. Case in point with the bloody escapades of Torque. Not only do you have to battle against some very creative, very unnerving supernatural creatures, but you have to face your own inner demons too. Depending on your actions throughout the game, the ultimate fate of Torque's crime and whether or not he killed his own family is slowly revealed, and the results are equally saddening across the board. Oh, and you are also haunted by some of gaming's most sinister, yet wholly entertaining ghosts. Right, Dr. Killjoy? Surely all over the planet, humans have been killing humans all the way back to Cain and Abel. Number 6. Resident Evil Everyone knows and reveres the original game for being one of the godfathers of the survival horror genre. But it can't be denied that its visuals and abysmal voice work took away some of its creepy atmosphere. Then came along the remake, and with it, a new chance to wrap its mutated fingers around the throats of players. With its polished look, the corridors of the mansion feel all the more claustrophobic, which makes the appearance of a giant snake, giant spiders, liquors, and the tyrant all the more terrifying. Number 5. Silent Hill 2 With so many equally eerie entries under its belt, what makes this second installment stand out above its ominous peers? Two words. Pyramid Head. As James Sunderland searches the fog-filled town in search of his thought-dead wife, not only is he bombarded by disturbing monsters that can stem from literally anywhere, but his own sanity comes into question as the circumstances surrounding his wife's death become murky. <gasps> Throw in its cryptic puzzles, dreary setting heavy with a sorrowful atmosphere, as well as one of the most iconic creatures in all of gaming, and, well, you've got some nightmare fuel. Number 4. Amnesia – The Dark Descent 
Prepare to take a journey into the heart of darkness as one amnesiac-stricken Englishman awakens to find himself in the less-than-cheerful castle of Brennenburg, where he soon discovers that the key to recovering his lost memories is held amidst a series of hideous monsters, increasingly complex puzzles, as well as the involvement of an ancient artifact known as the Orb. I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. While all this culminates in a narrative that will keep you deeply invested in its mystery, what tips it over the edge into true nightmare fuel is the inclusion of the water creature, the shadow, and the realization that our protagonist may not in fact be a good man after all. This is crazy. Don't forget. Don't forget. I must stop him. Number 3. Fatal Frame 2. Crimson Butterfly. No one handles a haunting quite like a J-horror game, and the Fatal Frame series stands tall in this regard among a landscape of highly successful titles. Crimson Butterfly especially shows how true scares can come even from the most typical of supernatural beings. As two sisters find themselves lost in an abandoned village, they encounter various paranormal forces dead set on taking part in an ancient ritual. Their only defense? A camera with the handy ability to exorcise spirits, forcing players to get up close and personal with the ghosts if they want to survive. Number 2. P.T. It may only be a playable teaser to a game that is never going to get made, but Hideo Kojima's masterfully crafted horror experience will introduce you to new layers of fear. Taking advantage of its short playtime, players are treated to everything from the subtle yet disturbing phone calls all the way to a talking fetus that berates your character for being a terrible person. You remember, right? Exactly 10 months back. Top it all off from one hell of a jump scare from the lead's recently murdered wife, and PT shows that even with so very little, you can manage to create an actual living hell. You've been chosen. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Eternal Darkness – Sanity's Requiem Two decades on and this thriller still knows how to bend the mind of its players. One minute you're invested in how it switches between the characters and various points in history. The next moment, you're just mortified from how scary that stupid bathtub scene was. <laughs> Throw in the sanity effect that will have each of your lead characters battling nightmarish creatures as well as morbid hallucinations, and from beginning to end, you'll be edging your way through this game. Plus, that's all before you have to face a god of corpses. Play the most brutal shooter of the year. Warhammer 40k Darktide is the much-anticipated co-op action shooter from an award-winning team of developers. Available now on PC. 